Five, four, three, two, one. And we have an error. I got it. Got it. This is Ted Hicks, Late Night Parents. Ways to follow the show, latenightparents.com. Got Tony D, the random multi-broadcaster. Guess we are going just us tonight. Oh, for real? What's happening, bro? You tell me. How's it? How's the energy been this week? Rough. I got a busy. It's busy this week. A little tense next week. A bit of an adjustment the week after that. So it's a lot. It's a lot. But I'm here. Is your time changing? Any schedules changing, or is just a stack no. plate? Just, just personal stuff. Personal okay. Stuff I got to move through. That's all it is. But I'm, I'm I'm all right with it. I'm all right with it. How was how was how was uh your week past few days? And it was good, refreshed, and beat up at the same at the same time. Right. And I think uh, with my new tan, I might be darker than you. <laughs> oh man! But other than that, dude, I really didn't get to watch. Too much sports right. over the last uh, four or five days. Right. Um. I actually won fantasy my my fantasy football matchup. Don't know how I pulled it off. Right. But I did. Um. I really should be right now. I'm at two and three. I feel like I should be three and two, but. The ball didn't bounce too 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 many different ways in in my favor in my matchup right. against Captain Rehab. Um, what's going on with Belt Kings? I miss for the most part. I missed last week's live stream. Right, had Bathers in here doing his thing, acting up. We're doing about two hours. Wow. Yeah, man, we went about two hours. So that's good. Yeah, me, him, Rich, and Brian. It was good. It was cool. You know, Bathos brought his ways in there, which it was a new twist. And, you know, he gave a new aspect on things, and he gave a little bit of his football analysis. It was it was cool. It was cool. I was good with it. So we had a good time. We had fun. We had fun. You know, you know what's shocking? What's shocking is how good at football Bathurst is. I, I guess – we would have considered him like a novice. Well, he taught sports when he was on Haps. And I think people forgot about that. We really did because he, he shifted the format. He shifted yeah. it to more like music and a little bit of chat. Yeah. And, you know, I knew he was – I knew he would be a decent contribution. And I told him, I said, you know, I've been waiting on you to get up here, so come on. So he was up there, and we, had, we got a kick out of it. Yeah, he's been on. I, I think the last two to three, last two to three weeks. Yeah, two to three weeks he's been up there, and um, like I said, I'm grateful to him. He was one of the original guys. You know, I met you through him. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 so right, right. I take it back, and I always want to try and keep everybody in the loop. You were on there out. causing <laughs> trouble. Yeah, he, he's always <laughs> trying. He was still trying the other day. That joker. But we, it was a great conversation. I'm not gonna lie. He gave good aspects. So we had a we had a ball. Remember with Bathurst, and it was always stirring the pot. That didn't change. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are on there. Um, how'd you do this week with? You know, I have the to look. Was Rich, I don't think Rich Rich might have put the numbers up yesterday morning. I think I forgot. I think I forgot what the numbers were, but he did. Uh, I know he's going to tally it up, but he'll give us the numbers. Sunday is going to be a little bit iffy for me, I think, okay. and I'm going to try to make it to where at least I can, or at least try to do something. This weekend might be tight for me, so it might be my bye week, if you will. Okay. This one might be my bye week. I'm going to try to be up there. I will let everybody know. I may have to do a late broadcast. And just Bubblehead go. Nuke. Bubblehead Nuke in the house. What's good, Bubblehead? Theo. Theo. <laughs> What's up, man? How you been? Theo, what's going on? Blick, what's going on? You remember Blick. Theo? Theo used to be on hats with us. He used to play, uh, he used to be up there when we played on Uno with Takara. Ah, okay. 
Seems to be in the chat. Uh, how will LeBron um, start in Burrow? I'm not starting that one. I'm not starting. How or Burrow to start this week? I'm not starting how. Nothing against him as a player, but the team. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't feel a lot of fantasy energy from that squad or their players. Not saying that they can't play football, but from a fantasy football aspect, I don't see it. Somebody will have to tell me otherwise. Nancy, how you doing? Nancy, what's going on? How you doing, lady? Uh, so is uh, Amazon right now in love with Taylor Swift during the broadcast? Probably. Probably. Has the luster kind of worn off, or as long as those numbers are going up, I doubt that highly. Okay, and I'm 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 going to stick with that. As long as those numbers are going up, they can't tell me otherwise. They truly can't. Well, she's been pretty busy. She had her big um, red carpet. Yeah. I mean, come on. I've seen you too, Theo, man. I, I know I miss us having a uh, Uno nights, man. I, I told to Carl. She's busy now. She got her hands full. Big ups to her. Nancy she said, we're, tally- good, we're tallying up how many times they've shown her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You already know we're that. We're up to eight. I mean, she's money. Can't take that away from her. She's money right now. Yeah, no, I hear it. I hear her. She is money right now. I'm, I'm not going to knock her to mandatory minimum mention of Taylor. Tim, every, he said five. Yeah, they did. They did. Yeah. It's like, going, come on. They're going to. Um, Not sure where to start. Uh, let's see. She even appeared in the cartoon of the team. Oh, God. Don't <laughs> do a jersey. I see the jersey that says Swifties on it. Goodness. Um. What else? Um. I, I don't know if they did or they didn't. Is Bathurst are, is in the chat? Hmm. Bathurst is in the chat. Bathurst is up here. All right. You want them, you want them up? Send them up. I'll get them. I got you. Give me one second, Bathurst. So. Eagles and Jets. Mm-hmm. Eagles and Jets. Is that a Sunday night football game? Or is that a 425 game? Uh give me one second. Let me see what I can do here. Denver is possibly the worst team in the NFL right now. Who is that Nancy? Is that coached or is that quarterbacked? Kelsey's mom is the only one. Yeah, I agree with you. That's what yes, we said last week. Bathurst just sent you the link. Um, Eagles and Jets. Let's see what we got here. Eagles and Jets. Week five. Week seven, isn't it? Mm-mm. No, it's week six. All right, week six. 425 Sunday. 425 Sunday, okay. In East Brotherhood. So it's getting the the 425 window, which is seen all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, The Eagles are going to dominate, to say the least. You know what, Theo? The way the commanders held the Eagles down, the Jets defense may do the same thing. As much as I can um, be a Jets homer, I said, I, was the same person, I said the same no thing about the Chiefs. They were doing the damn thing with the Chiefs. There's no way. Right. Nancy Russell's costing everybody money. I got the game on right now, sitting here watching this madness. But what are – let's look at uh, Russell Wilson's numbers. Are they really suffering this season? Is it him or is it the team? That's a good question, if you want the truth. Nancy says he's in the negative. Okay. And Nancy stays on top of it. I miss having Nancy around. She's on top of the numbers. She's on top of the game. I do miss having you around, Nancy. For real. Just almost be KC out of KC. To so my YouTube. It's on the YouTube. Look in the chat. It's right there. Bethes, what are you doing? 
It's right there. Look on my YouTube, brother. <laughs> the team is yeah, the, the Broncos, I didn't have much faith on it. Um, I'm not even saying that they can't play, but they're losing. Bad. Yeah. They're losing. They 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 they're gonna have the whole first round of the draft to themselves. <laughs> No, because they've given up all their picks. Well, then they screwed. They sent their picks to uh, Seattle. Well, then they're screwed. They're screwed. Chiefs are getting home called. Yeah, Chiefs are getting hooked up. Now, now, Nance, I'm glad you said that. The Chiefs have been getting hooked up since the Super Bowl, in my opinion. They, 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 they running the hustle. They running the hustle. Matter of fact, since Taylor Swift was around, they already made back uh, Patrick Mahomes' uh, contract money. <laughs> they ain't got to win no more. They don't have to win no more. Oh, Jr. my goodness. We all know it's going to be Lions Dolphins. Theo, I think it's going to be 49ers Dolphins right now. Glick, thank you for the retweet. Right now it's 49ers uh, Dolphins, in my opinion. Sadie, how you doing? Ted, anybody backstage? No. Because I know Bathurst is trying to get up here. Bathurst, you want to use the link's right there in the chat. It's not working. He, he just joined. There can you go. hear me? Y'all can Loud and clear. Oh, there we go. There can we you go. feel the love? There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, love if, you love. Was, if you wasn't no haps, you're going to see it now. <laughs> this Outside is the guy that got the whole neighborhood community started, in my opinion. This is the and guy that we have dream. all been in Michael Bathurst's neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, how are you doing? Okay. I had everything going in a loop and I thought it was on some form of chemical drugs, but I'm okay. I got rid of the other screen. Oh, that's have, good. Have you ever done that where you hear the loop, the loop, the loop? The yes. Loop. Yeah. So it sounds good. Looks good. How's everybody doing? We're good. Doing well. I heard you guys talking about me and I was like, well, I better come up. Of course. Yeah. Sadie, yeah. how you doing? So are we are we doing football? What are we are we doing? Is, is that what uh, we, football's we, cool? So what we usually do is we do a segment of Belt Kings mm -hmm. baked into the Thursday night live stream. Yeah. I'd see you know what I love about your shows? You do a bit of everything. It's a grab bag. Yes. I like that. That that's more my personality. You know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Where Tony is, you know, unstructured and all over the place. But oh wait, that was me. Sorry, oh, I, I got confused. But um, but um, you know what I do want to talk about before we start, if it's okay, is um, oh. ch chemistry between individuals, okay. right? And we've always had this where we can be, and especially Tony and I, and, and Ted a little bit too, but because Ted would keep us on the rails most grounded of the time. grounded yes grounded somewhat grounded yeah he was like the the, the you know we, we were a beautiful house and we're he was the and he was the foundation right he was the foundation he would keep it going especially when it went nutty mm -hmm. there, rick now, there, hey rick how you doing buddy um but i miss rick and i i miss aspects of it i'm hoping that periscope will happen but uh have to inching closer and closer toward it. How do you I know that? Because I know you're a tech guy. I saw a true conductor come up, and you know how you see Twitter Spaces notifications? Yeah. I went to it to go listen, and it was looking like Periscope. I yep. said, oh, mm -hmm. Lord, I didn't want it back. So you all you jokes, all of you not coming on the camera always having something to say, picture emoji, fake name people, get ready. <laughs> fake name. No, people. not really. It's going to be the opposite because. Go for it. <clears throat> Hold on. Go for it. Wait for it. Mathers, you remember Theo Dawson used to be on Hats with us? I think so. Yeah. You see I him in the so. chat. Good. He's in the chat. Theo's in the chat. Nancy's in the chat. Rick's in the chat. Thank all of y'all for being here. We're grateful for Rick. you to be here. Yeah. Rick's in the chat. Now, um, this is another level clear. When you use StreamYard, yes, yes this Probably is another level. I I noticed some of the professional broadcasters use 
The East Stream Yard. Most of them the East Stream Yard. And I chose yeah. Restream because Restream had the better plans. Yeah, did they? Yeah, yeah, Restream had better plans. Do you get free pop with that? And, uh, you know, like wow. a cheeseburger or something? What kind of plan are you talking about? I'll never forget. One of my favorite shows we ever did. He spent the whole time going, my salad didn't come. Oh, man. <laughs> I wait for my salad. I was mad. I was furious. Who Where's my furious? salad? They said to bring my salad money. tomorrow. Furious, <laughs> this is the reason why I know without a doubt mm. you're going to get Periscope and you won't get the bots because X is testing a three-tiered premium service. Gotcha. Take care, Nancy. Good seeing you, lady. Oh, fast Thanks. standard, basic standard and plus. Oh, yeah. So e e either way, anyway, you're going to have to pay. And guess what? Mm -hmm. Bots are not going to want to pay. No, they're not. Fake accounts. That uh, it's this stuff gets costly. Yes, it does. Here, here's the thing: is you're going to see most of the platforms. Mm -hmm long term are going to have some form of a fee yes and, and if they don't have a fee it's going to be endless amounts of commercials yes it's it's like pluto i don't know if you guys watch pluto right pluto is yes. great it's got great programming it's paramount uh you know it's kind of all their b-grade stuff you get to watch things like csi frazier shout yes. out to Costa for putting me on pluto earlier this year but it's not and it's and it's wonderful, but it's endless ads to the point yes. where you're ready to pull your hair out. Um, uh, and it, I would have some. Pro I would have a problem with that. Yeah. Well, you, 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 <laughs> no, but see, you're a tech guy. You're yes, a tech yes. guy, right? And you like things to have a fluidity. I was really shocked, though, at the quality of Pluto. Now uh -huh. it is really clear, like. When you finally do see the program, it's very clear they've done right. they've done some upgrades for sure. Right, but hey, they I have just, them. Go ahead. I just I just want to read one line. Early rumors suggest that none of the plans remove all advertising from the user's view, mm. but may limit it mm. to half the normal amount. So, so My, we're we're saying the same thing with the we're saying the same it, thing without reading it. We're, we're we're saying the same thing. Yeah. Well, you have to, right? He's. He is not making money. People don't realize it costs a lot of money to hold all this information. Yes, I, think that's part, I think that was part of the reason Haps had so much problems. And I remember talking to the owner, uh, Mr. Goldman, and he was saying, you know, people are upset with me because they want to fall asleep at the camera all night and have me film it. Yes. And I don't blame him for not wanting to do that. And he said, I can't that's afford that. Whoa. And, I mean, it was, it was. Cantina is free. We don't even know how he's still running it with the quality and mm -hmm. the amount of time we spend up there at no charge. We don't know. Perhaps my understanding was serving space on the server was an issue. That's one of the reasons why they had to shut it down with everything we was doing. Yeah. There. He was having a ball. And also, everybody's devices were getting hot. Matter of fact, I'm going through the same thing with Cantina now. My phone will get hot. My laptop will get hot. So I, I'm starting to see a lot of the things that I didn't know when I first came about hanging out with you all the live streaming with everybody. Mm -hmm. You're right with the server space being an issue. We also acknowledge the bandwidth being an issue. So they're going to have to start charging. We're doing things for free. And the minute you start charging, people stop getting up there, which means the business losing money. But people are being cheap in doing what they want to do. So, Ted, have you heard about now most people and I'm talking most people, probably us in this room, because I, I consider us most people. We look at our phone and we don't have it against our ear. Right. Those that are constantly talking on the phone, mm -hmm. they're finding now they're getting radiation poisoning. It's That's common. Been for 15 years, Mike. No, no, but I mean, it's common now. It's it, common it, knowledge now. Yeah. We didn't acknowledge it. It's been there. I've but but there's, a, there's a lot of stars that have ended up having to have surgery and they're showing... You know, radiation online. burns. Radiation yeah. burns, yes. The, the other thing I want to bring up too, and not only because it's Ted, and Ted's about the only person in the world who's going to care about this. <laughs> got that nerdy brain like mine. <laughs> but if if you buy a premium phone, let's say you bought a premium phone in the last three or four years, right? You're you're gonna get 
something with a beautiful screen, something that you can record with a nice microphone. But if mm -hmm. that's but if that screen dies, to replace that screen is going to be more than you paid for that used phone. I challenge that. I said yeah, not not if it's Samsung. Well, not if it's Samsung, but there's and, a and not here. if it's a high end Apple product. Yes, it is because there's a store here in town. When my son, when Jason, when we used to bring my iPad, mm -hmm. I would take it to the store, spend a hundred dollars, pick the screen it out. Yeah, it's not the original screen, though, buddy. No, but it worked just fine afterwards. <laughs> it did. And trust Ted, me, Ted helped me. Get an iPad about ten times with him. It was. Yeah, no, I know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Why it's you not this, use it? I said he's fine. It's he's not fine. this. It's not the same screen. How are headphones? Headphones any different in a different way? Theo, the Bluetooth and the plug-in would be your difference. The Bluetooth will give you the radiation issues. The plug-ins necessarily won't. Um, Bernie, what's going on? Glick, yeah, you're right. They've been saying it for years about the cell phones. I agree because I was saying that. Theo wants to know, can streaming or bring all of the chats together? I'm thinking like how Restream does. Can you have show to ask Ted. I think StreamYard can show the chat. Can he not? Ted, yeah, it can, can show the chat. Show. We, just don't just, bring, um... you know, we don't bring it up all the time <laughs> because we have some, I know I broadcast and I've had some people saying some crap. I don't want everybody out there to see. But it is up there. Both of the, both of the platforms don't do it. Ted, Which, how, you how have you felt so far with, with StreamYard? I'm, I'm picking Ted's brain here. Sorry. Ted. Hey, I, I, I totally like StreamYard. Um, and there's nothing, nothing, not to knock Restream, because yeah. I think that's also another great platform. Both of them will allow you to tie, you know, mm -hmm. uh, depending on the plan that you have, um, tie either three accounts or six accounts or as many accounts that you have. Um, it's, it's really good. It's not an app. It's mm -hmm. web. So it's light. There's no client to it. Mm -hmm. So those type of problems of, hey, I got to go in and configure it or do whatever like that. There's none of that. It's just pull up the website. Here's your invite. Yeah. And tunnel right in. What What was the the first thing that you had to learn to do StreamYard? Because the, there are a lot of individuals now who want to do what we do, mm -hmm. but don't know how to do it. They don't have any clue. They and, they miss, and they miss yeah. the days of haps, right? Yeah, right. they got to learn. And I was I was going through it myself. Ted was actually telling me about StreamYard and Restream when I first met him. Mm -hmm. I didn't worry about it until haps went down. And I had to they... kind of work my way through it. Now I'm pretty good with... I, I chose Restream over StreamYard. Now, mind you, I will use Restream, StreamYard, EvMux, Fluten, and Vocal. I'll use all of them. But you got to learn them. And a lot of people don't have so... the patience to try to figure them out. Go the ahead, community Pat. members, the community members from StreamYard are, they do, I think, weekly or a couple of times during the week yeah. um, sessions. Mm -hmm. and, and they also, if you go to their YouTube channel, all the new features that they roll out. And I'm sure Restream is doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, hey, here's our live session that we do every Sunday night. But if not, here, catch the archives, um, watch of it, or watch it on YouTube. And it's absolutely great. You know, from the, when you do a, a, a live stream and just the ease of use, and Glick was mentioning it, that mm -hmm. being able to just download the audio, click up a button. Same with Restream. Two minutes. You got the you got the audio. It's high quality. Uh, it's at least two fifty six. Um, I know what you mean. Mega yeah, place. quality. Um, yeah. it's it's. So you're talking. Okay, so for those who don't understand what he's saying, I'm going to dumb it down a bit. If you want to do a podcast, mm -hmm. you have the accessibility to it easy. And the other thing is, there's such a, an ease like there okay unlike house there was that delay there's no delay here what delay was on house oh house had some serious delay what come on tone the international aspect maybe and i barely saw that mm, I, I i, I think you were more tolerant than i was yeah yeah, you know, because Ben and I are perfectionists in some ways. In yes, some ways, I was a rookie. I was a rookie, so you're correct. I was a rookie, so I didn't really see much. No, of you're the biggest not. thing I used to compliment when I told Mark was the instantaneous communication globally. 
I didn't see much of a delay myself. Yeah, so you, Rick is a right. user. Rick is a user of Restream mm-hmm. um, because he works on it along with Carmen and the rest of their team mm-hmm. um, with Restream. They do provide a piece, a small piece, which allows the chat uh, portion to be viewable mm-hmm. at all times. So they do that. And that's, that's the only big difference I see from Restream to StreamYard. But StreamYard allows that, it too, don't you? Doesn't it? It does, but... You need a plug-in. You need some type of like an API or something yeah. where you I can tie it in. It can be and, done. And, 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 right. Yeah. It's, it's My was good. The general is in the house. <laughs> now, where are you seeing the comments? Doing. Where are you seeing the comments? You should see it on the right side. You're a guest. You may not be able to see. Actually, you should be able to see it. Minimize it. Um, If you get all the pictures, like the whole maximized screen. StreamYard is how it's my podcast to the next level. Right. I've got a full go screen now, but that's cool. Wow, is that clear? Look yes. how clear. That's 720p on me. What do you got yourself at? 10? Hell, I don't know. 720. 720. I'm 720. Then 720 is actually kind of garbagey, but it's yeah. it's not half bad. I'm going to no. the definition 480, and I'm good. Yeah. yeah. And if you get the upgraded package, you get the 1080. Yeah. Yeah. For what we do, this is fine. Can, can we can we do a, a kind of circle around if it's okay about the Twitter thing? We kind of went into another avenue. We do that. What do you call it? Tangent? We had a What's tangent. Up, Carmen? Hi Carmen, how are you? Good Carmen, to see you. I am gonna give you a call this weekend and we could talk because I think it might be better if we use your platform because we would see the um the comments about. immediately. Yeah, the other way you'd have to be on the other platforms and see it, I guess, right? Shalom. Which is annoying. Huh? I was talking to Carmen. She says shalom to us. That is a great photo of her. That is. That is a great photo. I can see her already. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't I don't think I'm a favorite person. To be honest with you, I don't know what, what she's probably thinking, but Mike Patton also says, I gotta thank the the, the tour in the AFC South tech team for everything. Check out tour in the AFC South, y'all. Oh, man, Mike Patton. Got it, got Ooh, it, man. got it. it Mike Patton. So you guys were discussing the game tonight, or were you discussing the game tomorrow? What which game was were you discussing earlier? We're just talking regular topics with Ted. We start off with a little segment from Bill Kings, then we go to current events for the most part. Perfect. I like that. Okay. Yes, I am, Carmen. Stop lying. <laughs> Tony is not our favorite person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, hey, at the close of the All About the Joy podcast, mm-hmm. they had a question. Mm hmm. Carmen had it for her panelists. Okay, you gonna ask um, Tony and I? No, not not about Tony and and and, and Michael. But the question was: yeah. Is yeah. your significant other or spouse mm-hmm. your best friend? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. From in my case, yeah. Well, thirty years. 30 years. How could they not be after 30 years? Yeah. and I I have a different approach. I have a different approach. And and these are some topics that -hmm. we're going to discuss next week when both of our teams collab together on uh, next Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. I would say for me, I would say no. Okay. And why is that? And I say, and we had this, it's it's so funny that the topic came up and I said, we were, we were talking, I don't know, it might've been Tuesday. Mm-hmm. We were at the pool, laughing, joking, having a great time. And we were talking about best friends. Yes. And I'm like, are you my best friend? And I was like, 
We both said no, because we also have friends outside of our lives that that have been, you know, friends our entire lives. That's fair, right? So I can tell you, I have, you know, one of my friends, we've been buddies since the late 70s. Right. And that's who I would consider my best friend. Yeah. Now, I want to say this. I want to preface it by saying, when they were reading that chat message that I wrote, my wife walked by and I turned down the volume. Yes. Because I did not want to go there. <laughs> yeah, that's not an that's not an avenue you want to travel. But I, you know, you know, it's a good point. Um, but I, I think in your life you have people that are there certain chapters. Yes. On the staircase of your life, there are certain people who teach you lessons and you learn things and you find out things about yourself. And when you're really young, um, you know, you're immature and you do crazy stuff and there's a lot of ego based stuff. And if you've been with someone for more than 10 years, they've seen the good, the bad and the ugly. Right. Or some people say now the warts, they see the warts and... Mm -hmm. And if you're with someone long enough, they see you lose your hair, your mind, and your body. <laughs> <laughs> and, but so here's the thing. We started to delve a little bit deeper into the conversation. And I really want to save this for next week. But okay. I will say this much. Mm -hmm. We talked about, okay, now we have, everyone has that friend that you may not speak to every day, but yeah. you can pick up with them. I have that friend. Yeah. I you know, know what you mean. Yeah. Yes. Where it could be like a year or it could be. Yeah. Oh, pick up the phone. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing great. Hey, how mm -hmm. are you? And like, you just go into it. Yeah. It, I, mine is um, James Heaven. And, uh, you know, we've been, we've been friends since grade five. Right. And, uh, you know, he's, he, he knows me, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly, the whole, um, but if you're in this life and mm -hmm. you have someone that's been in your life, most of your life, you know, someone you can trust, you're very blessed. You know, we, a lot of us have acquaintances and people we're fond of, but uh, you know, if you want, if you want to know who your real friends are, get incarcerated or something. Yes. Yes. You know, be down and out. Be in, be in a situation where you can just turn and you're just like, okay, is now. this, is this a real friend? So Glick has a statement he, he he mentioned. He said, it's a different type of friendship you have with people in your life and your partner, it's on a different level. I fully agree with you. Mm -hmm. Fully I mean, agree. I would not have this conversation, though, with your uh, significant other. It probably would not go well. You know, and, 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 and that's the thing is men and women are very wired different in certain, you know, like I, I have friends where um, to them, they would much rather hang out with boys and drink and, and reminisce mm -hmm. and listen to tunes and, you know, smoke and, and, you know, all the great things that they do um, than ever be concerned about going out for dinner with the wife, you know? So everybody's, but then every once in a while you meet someone and you see a couple and they're, their their whole life is their family and them. That's right. It. And and I see that. And, and um, you know, some cultures you have, you know, the whole family unit. You know, you've got the grandparents and sometimes mm -hmm. even the great grandparents and they're all living under the roof and the brother and the sister. And I don't know how they don't kill each other. So what you drinking there? Uh is that your your latest sponsor right there, Beth? <laughs> I, wish I, I wish I had a sponsor. It's military. Rick, Rick Costa says, my dad always said, you find out who your real friends are when yeah. you're in the hospital or incarcerated. Correct. I, I would agree. Yeah, when you're down and out. Yeah. yeah. The Definitely when you're down and out, regardless of hospital or jail, I agree with that 100%. If you have cancer, let, let's say you have cancer mm -hmm. or you know a life-threatening illness, your real friends will be there. Yes. Yeah, the, the, the show concern. Yes. Um, 
does is Rick open to coming up at all? Are you okay with that? Oh, I, I don't have a problem. I just want to let you know that I'm going to wrap this up in about 25 minutes. Right. Really, with Tony and I here? You just yeah, yeah, I, I, I just got off of a plane. I know. I saw a video of a guy <laughs> in a car, and it was all lit up, and it was like some some amazing thing or something. And he was jamming, and I was like, "Yeah." I just got off of, uh, just got up the car, and everything. Tell else us like about that. that tune. Tell us about that. That what was that? That was good. Which one? I know something about amazing or something in the background. You did a little TikTok up. Sure. Oh, I, I right now I'm so shot, Mike. I tell you, okay. Um, here's one thing I want to touch on. We can mm-hmm. bring Rick up, and or Glick or whomever wants to come up. No, you you know Rick. Rick, Rick is read the chat, Mike. Read the chat. Read the chat, Mike. Read the chat. The, there's no chat. I have no chat of mine. I, but don't forget, I'm Linux. Yeah, he invite, but I think uh, he's, he's had enough. So he's yeah, he said he's yeah, he did his stream. He did Carmen's stream. Yeah, and, um, Islands in the stream. That is what we are, right? Absolutely. I have a question, Tony. You're back to your old self, gosh. Is it? Oh, I thought it said juggling. I was about to have some jokes. Go ahead. What is juggling, Tony? I have no idea. Drinking. How do we keep our safe? No, jugging is drinking. Jugging is drinking. Okay, you're just, you're, you're t- 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 Bathers, read the chat. I, I, I oh, you can't. Know. Mike, you need to click the chat button on the right of the screen. No, you're not listening to me. It's because. No, no that's what Glick says you need to do because he's got a stream yard. Now, Glick, you've hosted. He's not hosting. He's yeah. actually guesting. I can see the chat. I know how I got my setup. A developing story this morning. A family has a warning for all of us after three armed men followed them home, tried to rob them at gunpoint. This whole thing was caught on camera and in their driveway. Chris Sadegi joins us here in studio with a look at that video. Chris, police say this was targeted. Yeah, Kara, and this is some frightening video to look at. It shows what is called jugging. It is not new. However, Dallas police say it does seem to be happening more and more often. This video is from Mark Gardner's driveway in North Dallas. He backed his car in and then three armed men jump out of an SUV, run up and start pointing their guns at him, even pounding on his window, demanding and give up the cash he has on him. Jugging is when thieves hang out at banks or ATM machines, watch someone withdraw cash, then follow them looking for an opportunity to take that cash. In this case, their plan did not work because Mark kept his doors locked and managed to escape by driving through a small opening between the SUV and another car. Fortunately, he and his stepson, who was also in the car, were not hurt. The video captured a good look at the three men, and Gardner hopes someone recognizes their faces. Maybe they think they're invincible. But if they think they're that tough, wait till they get to prison. And jugging cases happen <laughs> often enough that us. Wow. I've never heard of that term then. That term, no. And I, I don't know how that actually relates. <laughs> is, is it supposed to rhyme with mugging? I, I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. You know what it reminds me of? Have you guys seen the video where these guys drive up? There's three or four of them. They're at the gas station. And, mm-hmm. they're gonna, and they're trying to rob this guy. And the guy started pouring gas on them. Wow. He poured gas on them, got his lighter out, and went, yeah, let's go. <laughs> and they all took off. They took off. With, with, with all gas on them. Because they were trying to rob him. And he just started spraying his his gas. Because he was loading up his car, pulled it out, and just started spraying them off. And then pulled the lighter out and said he was going to set them on fire. Jeez. Hey. Tony, I got a quick question for you. Um, how do we not become a victim of jugging? What are some things that we need to do? Don't open your windows. Keep Be aware of your surroundings. Don't leave cash in your car. Change your routes. Carry cash in cars discreetly. Call nine one one. Let me. Let me. You're not going to call nine one one in that situation. First of all, let, me, let me let me let me go ahead, let me go ahead and be hood on this one because y'all gonna have to learn some hood hood in this a little bit sooner or later. Smoke what's good. Be aware of your surroundings. That's number damn one. 
these days, if you go into the ATM, you got to anticipate somebody's watching you. Most yeah. ATMs are in public. They're not in private. Number damn one. That's for real. Don't leave cash in your car. This is not the 70s or 80s anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Why does this even have to be said in the first place? Yeah. And let me throw this out there to the rural people, the country people, the people who ain't worried about nothing, the people who think nobody's going to mess with them. Mess around if you want to, and that's the clean version. Yeah. I'm serious. Change your routes. That is... Difficult for some people. Some people don't want to change their ways. Yeah, it's in your best interest to do so. But some people don't want to change their ways. I, 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 I can, I can kind of recommend that one. Carry cash and cards discreetly. That's a little difficult. People are still carrying cash in their wallet as well as their cards. <sighs> Y'all work that one. I just said. give me one second, Mike. Call nine one one. Let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen. By the time somebody pulls a gun in your face, they're not going to see him and be like, "Here, I'm gonna give you five seconds to call the cops on me." Get the hell out of here. That's not going to happen. Y'all kill me with this call 911 mess. Mm -hmm. Follow the first four rules. You don't have to. Follow the first one in the first place. You won't have to go through the other four. Honestly, seriously, truthfully, and totally, it is just that simple. Go ahead, Mike. I had a, a boss many years ago, and you guys were talking about 70s, 80s, right? Mm -hmm. And he was one of these guys. He was kind of flashy, and he always carried like two grand on him. And people knew he always had a, a roll of money on him. He probably had a gun on him too. Go ahead. You no, know, he didn't have a gun. This he was Canadian. He walked around with two grand every day. Everybody knew it. He didn't. Or have more. A gun. Or more. And or more. He didn't have a gun. No, and he got rolled, and he didn't do it again. He didn't do it again. And you should never be flashy and make it seem mm -hmm. like. And, and nowadays, nobody carries cash really. Some people do still carry cash, Mike. Do you, do you, okay, in this room, do, do you guys carry cash? I can't tell you last time. I rarely, if at all, nope. ever. I carry nope. cash about as often as Haley Comet comes around. Me. You just can't. Everything's been digital for a lot of people. And from the pandemic, when there was a cash coin shortage, mm -hmm. a lot of people started going digital. What isn't on there, and I want to throw this out there, is people can have those digital wallets. They know how to get those, too. Y'all know that, right? Mm -hmm. They talked about how to get people with those credit cards on their phones about 10 years ago. They walk by with these little scanners. They pull all the information off your phone. You don't even damn know it. In Canada, I don't know if you guys know this, but there was all these bank machines that had where people put on top of the regular machine yeah. another mm -hmm. machine that looked like it. Yes, and it was reading. So when you were doing your numbers, they were getting all the information. They read all the information. Yeah, they got the little fake. When you put the card in, there's a fake one right over. Yeah, it's fake. But the whole the whole faceplate was fake. Wow. Yeah, and it just went on and didn't look. And it was funny. It was so well done that even the people at the bank were like, "Oh, they upgraded it. Why does that look different?" And other people went and went. A couple clever people went. That's not an upgrade. No, it's not. What's going on Sunday night smoke? He says 911 is a joke. Mm -hmm. yeah, the other around. thing you got to be careful too is if you go to festivals where you've got people that go from city to city to city, there's a mm -hmm. lot of people who gather your information. You know. yeah. International travel. There was actually a situation in Puerto Rico in the uh, early 2000s. They got a copy of everybody's cars that swept through this one hotel and they were jacking people's accounts left and right. Mm -hmm. But even uh, even corporations now are always at risk of everybody's at risk. Yeah. Rick says the origin of the term jugging is unclear, but some believe it came into use over a decade ago when thieves stole women's purses as they pumped gas, according to the Houston Chronicle. All right. Yeah. I heard a story. And and this is when I was DJing. That this was in like the early '80s. Okay, that there was a guy. He tried to steal this lady's purse, and he drove, he drove by, and he ended up trying to cut the cord of her thing, mm -hmm. and she pulled out a gun and shot, literally shot a hole through his hand. Good. Yeah, <laughs> I was like. And she was an older lady, and and you know they didn't charge her than anything. And I was, 
He got what he deserved for trying. Yeah. Good. But that that is somebody who has probably lived around that and had what you call street smarts. Well, she had a little bit of awareness, probably went through something that she wasn't going to deal with it. We're not supposed to advocate violence, but I'm going to advocate self-defense. Somebody tried to rob you, do what you got to do. Uh, Rick chimed in and said he was a victim of that at a gas station. That's why they say pay inside, not at the pump. Yeah. 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 You see Smoke's comment? Yep. And Smoke says, one of my boy's cards info got ripped when we were in Columbia last month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know what was funny? Um, I went to City Field last month mm-hmm. to see Shoei Itani. Mm-hmm. I get to um, for parking, to pay for parking. And I hadn't been there for three years because of COVID and everything else like that. And not only the fact was parking was $40 for for City Field, for a game in Queens, New York. Everything was cashless. Mm-hmm. So it's so hard. Like you're you're sitting here and we we, you know, all three of us said we we rarely carry money, but we are susceptible to this type of stuff because we're pulling that card out and swiping yeah. away. Yeah, yes. it's it, it's a, a more educated criminal attack. Like you have to be pretty smart to be able to put a faceplate on something, then be able to you know relay the information, then do it. like this. This isn't someone who runs in and stills, you know, smokes. Oh, yeah, root bugging. <laughs> What's the name of Dia by chance? Yeah. Have you guys ever watched the the one show? I, I I'm not sure what network it on. I think he used to on Periscope. And there was a guy that worked at a variety store, and the people who came in were terrifying. It was it was interesting. Like I watched it, and I was like, it felt like at any second something could happen. And part of the problem with a, a lot of areas, and this is even happening in Canada, there is no grocery stores there's no retail there's they have the local gas station or a little variety store and they basically take care of your basic needs Mm -hmm. and yeah i think that this was what this variety store was i think it was in um a, a rough area and i was thinking wow you know you you would have to you would have to have somebody who was incredibly street smart and always on red alert. Right. You gotta yeah. be these days. You gotta be. Is there is there I mean, dancing around some some of these topics, but we've noticed we, we we've seen on TV for the past, I don't know, five years mm-hmm. the amount of thefts at these stores. Mm-hmm. And we're watching, you know, it's all on TikTok. Anytime you open up TikTok or you open up YouTube, yeah, you, you see there's a, a cops related channel and people are getting, you know, arrested yeah. for you know, trying to steal X amount of dollars um from, from a store and stuff like that. Right. Mike, is that the reason? Why a lot of the the box stores have moved away, and you only have a a few mom and pop stores? Is that what you were in in the states? Mostly, from what I've read, there are areas where you know if you don't have access to a vehicle, it's mm-hmm. twenty miles to the closest grocery store. Right. right, and there used to be a Walmart, but the theft was so high, or they yes. weren't generating enough sales, like. In Canada, it, it, there's different reasons why Walmart's close. There was a Walmart close to uh, what I would call uh, an elite bougie area. And do you know why they, they closed it down? Everybody was wearing stuff and returning it. Yeah, uh, that's, 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 that's notorious for Walmart's. That's notorious for Walmart. The, the, the return, it, it wasn't theft. It they wasn't just that, it, yeah, they they just, it, and they were so entitled, they wouldn't leave until they got their money. 
and or they would sue or or do whatever it took. But I think one of the funniest stories I've ever heard, and someone did it as an experiment at a high school. Mm -hmm. and, and way back, Walmart used to sell canoes or kayaks, something like that. So they said, we're going to go in, just pick one up in the orth and walk out and see if anybody gets us. And nobody thought in their right mind that someone would do that without buying it. And they walked right out and they came back in and went, we, we didn't buy it. Where, <laughs> where, where's, where's your security? Where now, oh my God, there's a million cameras. They got to be because they get robbed. Walmart losing money off of the robberies. And oh. in, in England, every every corner is multiple cameras now. Has to be. They said that on Fast and Furious. You can't pick your nose without somebody seeing you in England. I mean, in London. Well, if you used to watch Haps, you could see people picking their nose. That's for sure. Watch Haps, see people looking at other people's nose. Yeah. But, yeah. Mike, what you're saying is there's more cameras in these stores than, than their actual employees. And customers. <laughs> and customers. Yeah. And and they hire now two people to three people who just watch cameras. Right. You got to. You got to. And, and you know who they're watching the most? Employees. The employees. The employees. The employees. Disgruntled employees are stealing like left and right. Try to go into any one of these stores before nine or ten o'clock in the morning, there's 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 no one to help you. Nope. I worked at a retail place, and I can't name what it was. And I came in one morning, and I'm I'm hearing all this scurrying in the roof. And I'm like, what is this? What what am I hearing? And I thought, oh my god, we got raccoons. Yeah, ship we got we, we we got rats. No, no, it was two homeless guys. One of them fell through. <laughs> and we went up there and cleaned it. And they had like, you know, chocolate bars up there and chips and pop. And and we figured out they had been up there a while. And no shower. Yeah, well, if they, yeah. But we, we had the alarm going off all the time. And we were like, oh, my God, we must have. Because all it would take is a mouse. Mm hmm You'd have a mouse and, and it would set it off. Or if you'd have, um, sometimes we'd have people try to get in the back and they'd rattle the door or the gate or, or something would set it off. And I only know because they would usually call me and I'd have to go look. But um, And what they did, uh, from what I figured out, is just before we closed, they would go up into the bathroom and climb up. You know how you have the, the pole area? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Pull up and... and the one guy, after we caught him, he said, yeah, I've been up there for months on and off. Months on and off. Months on and off. He said, you know, I, I get bored being up there. He said, we were hoping we could find access out somewhere else where you couldn't see us, like through the roof, or, but that never happened. And, and this was like the size of a grocery store, a large grocery store. So, yeah. But it's, it's a weird world. It's a weird world. And, you know, you have so many people now who are basically working full time, but they're living in their van or they're living yes. in their car or. It's a shame we or, wanted to increase on minimum wage and then the increase in people still struggle. Or in one of these micro apartments. Yes. Yeah. Which is the future, by the way. Yeah. Like um, Tesla's building them. Yep. Well, he, he he showed one of the little houses he's built. He, it's bigger than that, but it's about twenty five thousand dollars. Yeah, and but it's in in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. We had um, during COVID, a lot of different tech workers were using these sleeping pods. Yeah, for affordable housing. You know, I mean. And this is not to beat up on San Francisco or California because New York is just as expensive. It's seven hundred dollars a month. It's funny you say San Francisco because mm -hmm. I read a story twenty years ago, and and there was this gentleman, and he wanted to become a minimalist. And I can't remember what the book was, but it was a green book. It wasn't very thick. And one day he woke up and he said, "I'm going to sell everything. I'm going to buy a piece of land." 
and I'm going to start building tiny homes on it. Yes. And they were, you know, not very big. I think they were like 300 square feet. And he built one and he showed his buddies and all the guys that he worked with, who some of them worked at Google, said, uh, can you build me one? Right. And he, said, and he said, yeah, I can build you one. And he said, how much would it cost? And he said, I, I can build you one. I'll make a little profit and I'll build it for you for 35 to 40,000. I'll show you two plants. And then... Before he knew it, he had 75 of them on this land. Mm -hmm. And then he had problems with the government. Yes. And they had to charge him a little bit more, which was fine. But then they let him have the allotment of up to 125 on this unit. And he went from being a minimalist to where he became a multimillionaire from the book and went, ended up living in a real uh, place again. But that those still exist and i think uh some tech companies actually rent them now as yes. like b and b's and they're yes. over 20 years old and they're still okay they have wheels on them too so you can move them yeah. yep yeah uh these these micro apartments are exploding everywhere and it, it's it's funny because there's a need back, there's a need and it's funny because we go back to remember when the single family home. So in the States, my yeah. single family home was built everywhere. Right. Like you go to new subdivisions and it would be cookie cutter homes. Yep. Same here. 50 same homes. Here. Yeah. Exactly the same, um, you know, depending like on where we grew up in Queens. Um, if you were on an even block, it was an attached um, mm -hmm. uh, setup. Or if you were on an odd block, it was it was a separated home. And but like I said, cookie cutter. Do you know why that you know why that changed? In the fifties, mm -hmm. you have one income. You didn't have to be highly educated. Right. You could feed your kids. You could mm -hmm. pay your mortgage. You could have. A car. You, could you could vacation. Yes. You could vacation. Yes. Once a year. One, one income. Now you have people working two jobs, both people working. Just for, to pay that home. To pay for that home. And they have to sell the home if the interest rates go up. And, and the average house back then, you could buy a, a really nice house for in the 60s dollars. for $12,000. Yes. And you could buy a mansion. For 30. Yes. Yeah. You can't do an, an extension of your, <laughs> or a <laughs> renovation of your kitchen, you know, at a high level for 30 now. It's nope. not 11. So we've, we've somehow lost, we've lost our way. Totally. I, I agree with you. We've lost our Single way. Family to now we're at the point of these, these mixed use townhomes. Mm -hmm. that are being built everywhere. Everywhere you turn around in the States, you see the same style townhouse where there used to be homes built. Yeah. yeah. But, so, but you're, you're going to see these micro. One of the, the predictions, I don't know if you guys have read any of this. Mm -hmm. but they're, they're saying, you know, by the time you and I are gone, yes, about 30 years, you might live longer, especially with the music you listen to. Um, the, the, they're saying that the average person won't have an income. It, it will be a universal income. They'll give you housing and you will be able to buy certain things, but, but not many. You'll live mm -hmm. a minimalist life mm -hmm. and only highly skilled people that they, and think about what they can do now with AI. Yep. And, and, and think of what they're going to be able to manufacture cheaply in 30 years. There will be an abundance of stuff. And if we weren't so, like in the fifties, it was more about building a life, you know, mm -hmm. restoring um, uh, the earth because we had lost so many people in the war. Right. And it, it was such a, a wonderful, wonderful time of growth. And then by the, the late sixties was the hippies and, and everything else, but you yes. could still buy a house. And you could still buy a house even early 80s. 
like yeah this one, this one house that i was living in uh one of the ones we bought i, I can't remember what we paid i think we paid under four hundred thousand for it but it was 4400 square feet mm -hmm. when it was bought it had a stainless steel pool in it it actually was made out of metal and it was stainless steel on the walls uh, it was a beautiful pool all of that was built in 1980 for thirty-two thousand dollars with the pool right 4,400 square feet, six bedrooms. Crazy. Yeah, Karma, Karma said the show was the show is kind of a downer. <laughs> he was laughing, and then we started talking about what's happening in the world today. And well, I'm all depressed. Goodness, depressed. Karma, like, we're 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 here to to bring you down. <laughs> well, That's no, it's just to the point where you could see in certain areas now. These micro apartments exist. I love it. And you just and you're just like, yeah. Who the heck is going to live in that? Oh, a lot of people. A lot of people. A lot of homeless a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people who are living in their cars. Uh, a lot of people who are overpaying for their apartment. San Francisco has very high homeless rate, and it's, oh, it's crazy. Stuff. Yeah, the um, mobile homes, caravans of them parked. Yeah, it's just scary. But we, but we have addiction in so many things. Like even you've got so many people now who, you know, are on Ridlin and Paxil and Bobby Shadow. Bobby Shadow, brah. Yes, Bathurst, brah. Yes, haven't seen him in ages. We he pops up around. I still see him. Bobby, Bobby's still Bobby. Yeah, he's still Bobby. God, I I used to love his interactions with certain people and it was so funny because he could be so demeaning and half the people didn't even understand what the hell he was doing he said he's got you guys on his 80 inch screen are you are, are you bragging again yes he is bobby yes, shadow is. yeah uh i will never forget the time that he he was dancing around with his underwear next topic <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. Um we gotta end this with a good topic. Let's go. Well we we, we can we can the last topic is a good topic if, if we put a nice spin on it. You you could solve so much of the homeless problems, number one. Yes. Number two, I think if you have individuals who have a reason for living. And we're talking people who have su substance abuse and you could have some form uh, of addiction counseling and give them uh, a place where they can have pride about their home. It doesn't have to be a big home. Right. You know, th that to me is positive change and you can build from that. Mm -hmm. Hello, is, is this the man formerly known as Brian from Texas? Hello. <laughs> How's it going, Mike? How's it going, hey. gentlemen? Well, man. You missed Brian, it. what's going on? Nice tan, Ted. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Got that Cancun sun. Yeah, buddy. He's got the Cancun music going on, too. And it's very fun. <laughs> it's a very lit up car. <laughs> you got to see this video, Tony. It's awesome. Did you see it? Oh, my God. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. I was like, I was like, Ted is having the time of his life. <laughs> Oh my goodness! What, what, what time was that? Was that early in the morning or late at night? No, it was early in the morning. Yeah, it was early in the morning. And you were bopping. I was living in the present moment. Yep, enjoying life. Can we do gratitude if we want to do something positive at the end? Sure. sure. Everybody, um, open to that. look at Tony. Goddamn bathers. Brian, what's going on in your world? We want to give you a. An option, an opportunity to speak about your past week. Um, it's been busy. The weather's been great. Uh, just getting my forcing. It's been a it's been a struggle, but trying to get my uh myself on a routine, like to after work, even though it was dog tired as I am to make it to the gym, because Vegas is coming soon, so. I got, I got to be, in, I got to be at my best, you know, at least somewhat my best going into Vegas. <clears throat> what, so, so, so what's in Vegas, if you don't mind me asking? 
Oh, um, what is it in Vegas? What is it in Vegas? No, no, for him. For him. No, no, no. Um, so pretty much, pretty much, I'm celebrating my birthday in Vegas, uh, and I got, I have, uh, I have my my best friend, my brother, and two of my coworkers joining me. Can I ask you a personal question? Is that okay? Sure. How old are you? I'm 42. 42. Wow, you look 32, man. Really, as much stress as these women be giving me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like Carmen. Yeah, but you're, oh. not, but, but, but you're not married, though, right? No, not, no, no. I can't wait. No, no, no. It's it's not. Nah, and you and, and, it's, and it's have just, no kids. You have no kids. No, no. Yeah, so you have no stresses. Stress from the job and bad choices of women. Yeah, but sometimes you know. Yeah, well, let's not go there. <laughs> yeah. Life's it's Ted Show. It's Ted Show. We're going to be good. I'm going to be respectful. Life's a dance. You learn as you go. You do. There, there's life lessons in all relationships. Yes. Right, Ted? You know, we, we had individuals that were in other platforms in the past that you know, I noticed are not in these shows. And so, sometimes you have to sever. Yeah. You know, there's there's relationships that are healthy, and then 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 there's relation. Oh, I'm gonna lose my artwork here. <laughs> yes, Carmen, I'm looking forward to next Friday. What's next Friday? The super sh the Carmen Super Show, or Carmen and Friends, or so. So what what makes it super? Well, all, all makes star cast. <laughs> You, you, get, should um, you should do a plug for her. Yeah. Uh, we, we plug each other all you know shows all the time. Um so next week, next Friday, mm -hmm. both of our groups are gonna be getting together um to do one specific we're gonna do one hour. We're gonna talk about maybe three topics. Mm -hmm. right? And it's going to be Chaos, total chaos and mess. Yes. Listen, yeah. listen, listen, listen. Let me let me jump in. This is not going to be chaos. There's going to be so much tension. To Why? Sure <laughs> You're going to have all those ind independent, ind individual thinkers, pot stirrers. Is that what we you're are saying? going to put Fox out of business by the time we're <laughs> Fox News will have stand a chance between us and our opinions and our aspects. It will be a mess. Come on, I'm going to have fun. But it's you're going to be, be, but you're going to be respectful of her. Oh partner. yeah, no, we're, we're going to have always fun. respectful. We're going to have we're fun. Always respectful. Yeah, look, look at Tony's face as he says that. Yeah, I'm not a great believer <laughs> of this. Look like back anyone out it will. <laughs> well, they're seeing that. What, what do we used to call that? Russia and flush them. A little bit. Rick, you're talking about Texas and California, you're going to have New York and Boston. Yeah. New York, Boston, Texas, California. Oh, no, Glick. Ain't no ego going down on this one. No, sir. It needs to be on her platform, so I will behave. It's on Ted's platform. Ted doesn't mind if I act up. <laughs> so, Tony, is there any reason why you don't show your beautiful house in the background like what first of all you don't show your beautiful house in the background we see a corner we yeah, used to see well, a couple of computers we used to see a dog sitting on the floor you sat yes. in a room that's what i see but yeah no, not really. i just got my background this is my favorite background so this is my message to the public well at least it's not the jets today <laughs> that'll be when i do my other things i always think that'll of be. benny and the jets so are, are we doing gratitude or what are we, we doing? We have not gotten to the last topic that Todd wanted to talk about. Uh, well, well, 20 minutes ago, he said he wanted to shut it down. He did, but you didn't let him finish. Oh, well, this is all me. Okay, sorry. Right now, just right, just right now, I'm going to pick one of you today. Oh, I gave you Sunday. Today, I'm one. No, we just happy yeah. to have you up here, to be truthful. Ted, is that is that the honest to God gospel? or That's the honest to God gospel. We're happy okay. to have you up here. How about the brother formerly Brian from Texas? Are you happy to have him here and his uh, his masculine lover behind him there? Because <laughs> I'm the juggernaut. Smoke well, was good, now bro. Juggernaut. Entering an hour and ten minutes, and we have Sunday night smoke. Oh yes, we're in the building. <laughs> 
What's good, everybody? What's up, man? How you doing? What's going on, dude? Long time no see. I'm here. I'm here. Mr. Batters, hello. You... How are you, sir? Good. Do you miss me? That's all I want to know. Oh, how could I not? Oh, my God, man. We we used to get head spinning. Oh, good, man. How you been? Everything good? It's good. I. It's nice to hear your voice, actually. it's It's been a long time. Hey, man. Like, share, subscribe. So it, <laughs> are are you living a more peaceful life now, sir? Or are you still on the same path? What do you mean? I've always lived a peaceful life. What are you kidding me? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I've always lived a peaceful life. We we, we should have a private chat sometime, not not on Ted's broadcast. That would be good. Oh, of course. To catch up. Absolutely. That'd be Everybody. nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, man, drop in sometimes on Sunday nights, man. We're there every Sunday night, 7 p.m. <laughs> uh, shameless plugs always continue. Drop in anytime. You're always welcome, sir. You're always welcome on the Absolutely. panel. I, I, I appreciate yeah. that. Um, how about a gentleman named Brian, formerly from Texas? Who Brian's uh, always welcome as well. All you yeah. guys are welcome. It's an open panel. You know, you know how we do it. Are the subjects uh, still very controversial? Absolutely, so are the opinions. <laughs> it, is Opinion it radio. is it your own brand of TMZ? Opinion Radio at its finest. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh man, Jerry Springer. Yes. Yeah, a little of everything. You know, yeah. uh, we just hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube a couple of weeks ago, oh, so uh, we're on fire. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we're lit. You know, um, Ted, it's gonna break 50. Ted, how many do you have now? It's, it's lit, it's lit. I gotta check. Okay, I don't have nearly as much as you do. Well, well I, you I know what's that, uh, no, go ahead, Mike. I'm sorry. Um, when I was on Haps back in the day, I only had 2,000 people on you know this platform here, YouTube, which is I want to talk about the juggernaut. Um, and now I have over 4,000, but that took a long time. Yeah. Like it, it, does take time. it does take time. Well, I've crossed over into other, um, what you would call genres also. So I also produce uh, videos also. So I have uh, several travel videos on my uh, channel also. So it's like a combination. So it's now deemed that Sunday Night Smoke, that's the podcast. And then the caption is, podcast travel and laugh you understand so we yeah. you know we, we've expanded so since i started uh producing videos um that kind of um you know when i uh yeah that kind of boosted me you know i was able to cross over into other uh other youtube realms and get support from other uh travel channels and travel networks from networking with other people as well yeah they they, so they, they call that piggybacking by the way yeah, that's what they yeah, call that in yeah. when yeah when you yeah, can so. you know yeah. tony and i used to try to do that when we used to go on randy horton's thing, i didn't really know. piggyback um well, it's i did way, try to though. learn from you all more than anything but randy wanted to make sure that we all had followers and you did the same thing y'all made sure that if anybody came on the show that people followed them you all really did make sure that now i've, I've so you, you don't have headphones on do you uh, actually, I do. I'm in the car. I'm, um, I was listening oh, to you guys in the car. I'm on the road, yeah, so it's probably not uh, the best. Again. Yeah, it's not the best, but uh, yeah, I was listening in um, for a while. I said, uh, you know, when uh, I... It's so nice to hear your voice. It really is. Cool, we cool. we we, we were trying to do gratitude, I thought, but we lost our way again. <laughs> I'm sorry. So let's get back. Yeah, I didn't mean to sidetrack everyone. No, no, I want to know what you're no, grateful for. I want to know what you're good. grateful for. That's what I'm curious about. I'm grateful for everything. I'm grateful for have uh, crossing paths with you guys. You know, um, thankful for uh, Ted. Uh, somebody made an honorable Haps mention uh, not too long ago. I'm thankful for Ted uh, introducing me to Haps TV because I would have never met you, Brian, Tony D, uh, Glick, several other people. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I'm thankful. Life is good. Yeah, Ted, sure. Ted is good people. He really Definitely. is. You know, good, he's, he's, he's steady Eddie. He's a good side. Yeah, he's my good side too. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's my good side. He's our mature side. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Definitely he's he, he's side. the governor in the in the the van that makes sure you don't go 150 miles an hour. 
Facts. Yeah, he's yeah. good. He's good. Facts. No yeah. doubt. No doubt about it. Do you guys even know what I'm talking about? When we used to rent vehicles in Canada and you would try to floor it, it wouldn't let you. It would only go so fast. And they would oh, really? call that a governor. That's Canada. We didn't have that in the U.S. <laughs> no, because when I would visit Canada and um, I couldn't get the, the kilometers and the what's his name, my math was a little off. Like right. mm -hmm. to Toronto in the summertime and he used to be like, you're really actually speeding. And I'm like, no, it's so and so, and they're like, "No, that's kilometers, not miles." And I'm like, "Oops, my bad." <laughs> you know, on yeah. the highway signs where the speeds are posted, you know, they switch it up on you. Uh, but yeah, Ted, go ahead, but Hey, Bobby, I would get him. I would get impeached. Don't say that. I told them the same thing. They told me to run for prison. I said I wouldn't last. Ran the Rick was good. Salute, Rick. Wow, Rick this, this is very enjoy. memory lane, eh, guys. Yeah, I've been looking for this forever. Full oh, house, yeah, tonight. like when this happens, Full house. they don't yes. have this at Walmart on the shelf. Is that <laughs> not, not in your Walmart? No, they're in the ceiling. <laughs> Somebody stole it. Somebody stole right, it already. Right, 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 right. <laughs> it's either someone stole it or it's locked up, so you can't get yeah. to it. I just want to know if that chair that Brian's in is available at Walmart. That's what mm -hmm. I want. <laughs> Yeah, I got it from my last job. Yeah, bondage is as us. Is that, what... uh, that, was, that was the unloaded piece that they forgot. Uh... <laughs> so, uh, sorry, we're missing a chair. Oop, my bad. Right. <laughs> so we would usually have JoJo on here to talk MMA, but he won't be with us this week. Hopefully he'll be back next week. To talk about the other big fights that are coming up. Salute, Jojo. Um, shout out to Mr. B, the B Sides podcast, Sorry. every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern. He does it live. Um, that's YouTube? Is that YouTube? It's, Sorry, yeah, that's YouTube, that's Twitch. Gotta, can you drop the link if possible? I got a sub to that. Okay. I yeah. That. Is, uh, I'll speak to you in the back chat. Okay. Got okay. Good. All right. Yeah. Subscribe to that, people. I like that. Is there anything you want to cover, Ted, before we go? No. I've, this was, I said to Tony when we were in the green room, I said, you got 30 minutes in you? Yeah. He was like, yeah, I got 30 minutes. And I said, what time you got to be to work? That's the, we had the same conversation. Yeah. For two years now. production every week. Yeah. For two years now. <laughs> do, you, do you know, do you know what's funny is that, and Tony would save me many mornings but because when i used to do the show in the morning there were many mornings i didn't want to do it mm -hmm. and and i think oh you know I'll, I'll go on for half an hour and you know it's an hour an hour and a half we're into almost two hours and i'm like more people come in they don't want to leave we got a panel of six we got a panel of eight we have what and i was like you know the i i think what happens is the the energy just attracts more people yes and, and you end up having more people who want to be part of it and you know this is uh i i feel grateful to be here tonight and i just randomly had my tv on saw you two guys and you were talking about me and i thought oh, of God. course and i was like okay and i think you were talking about football or something in bathurst and I went, what well we were talking about football because i missed most of last week's live stream. Yes. And I said, you know what's strange? I didn't know Bathurst knew football that well. Yeah. Oh, you're a football guy. Yeah, your name did get... I had no idea. Yeah. And then Tony really quickly corrected me. He said, Bathurst used to talk about sports. And I said, yeah, but he really? changed the genre sure of his show. Yeah. And it was music and light chat. Yeah. It's, so, it's 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 hard to talk about sports when you're drinking. Not really. You don't drink at a sporting event. <laughs> the um, I, I'll tell you one thing about this year. This has been one of the uh, the greatest divide I've ever seen of talent. Like you have, you know, a tier of like five teams that are mm -hmm. elite, and then you have another, I'd say, ten. 
that are all scrambling to maybe get, you know, the wild card or something. But it, I think you're going to see a lot of blowouts this year. Like, and what I mean is like 50 points, 60 point games, which is odd. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. I think more so that uh, just, just, um, I mean, not a lot, lot, lot. You'll see an occasional, but it's like the good teams seem to play down to their competition level for some strange reason. Like, for example, the Chiefs and the Jets, that wasn't supposed to be a close game that the Jets should have won. At all. You understand? Like, some of those games, yeah. like, you know, we let's see what happens. Because, like, but Smoke, so, come on. Know, that that is not the same there. team. That is not the same team. The Chiefs. That That is... That is not I, the same team. That it, like you've got receivers there that are not really that productive, and you've got well, a lot of receivers there that wouldn't even be third string on other teams. Well, when you have a quarterback that lives on making plays on the run, <laughs> all the he's all getting, the, see, old, see, he's the getting older too, though. But they have a flexible offense, though, because remember they have a route. Their game plan how to do the offenses. They have a route, and then they say there's a there's a very flexible area in every route because he's always scrambling around. So he's, you know, there's no set. He's not a pocket passer. For a pocket yeah. passer, you have, you know, the ball goes to a spot. This guy doesn't put a ball in a spot. So he's an anomaly when it comes to quarterback. Like most He could be on any team and make them competitive. <clears throat> any team. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, the, the roster's not loaded, but they still, you know, they still – Managed to make it happen with that flexibility in every route. So, like, you know, it's but, not a but spot. But smoke, pass. It, it, you you could cut the the 49ers in half and make two teams, and you yes. still have two incredibly competitive teams. Yeah, two five. Yes, that 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 is true. Yes, that is true. They, they are so deep, and and, it's, and and let's be real. Even Philadelphia this year is not played well. They're like no, half they play down. but they're winning. Who cares? They, yeah, they're they're winning, but they play down to their competition as well. Like I expect another, yeah. uh, I expect the Jets to lose only by one or two scores, like a touchdown and a field goal. But they're not gonna run away with it because they're playing down to their competition level. Like they play the the Redskins, the excuse the language, the, the Commanders. Mm -hmm. Okay, games. can I ask one question to the room? Because you guys, yeah, I don't sorry, think Aaron would have done that much better. Sorry, he would have beat the Patriots. He would have made enough passes to win the, the close game that we lost. He would have he would have definitely beat the Patriots. In he's that. four and two. He was he's gonna make games. He would have went four and two. He's he's nineteen years in the league though, guys. Yeah, but it's all about hitting. But when I watched the film, and I don't mean to take it over too much, but I'm I like that. I like what you quick. do. Uh, pause. But anyway, um. Like I watch the film every week after our, after the Jets game. I'm a Jets fan, so I watch the film breakdowns every week, and they're open receivers all over the place in every single game. Aaron Rodgers would have definitely, uh, maybe not the Cowboys game, but they were open receivers in the Cowboys game too. Because remember that here, game. Here, here's the thing, though. Him. Everybody wants to knock his game. lights out. Everybody wants to be the one that knocks his lights out. I get it. And, well, it and a lot early. of people think he's an arrogant. You know, I really like him because he's spiritual. <laughs> you, you know, I'm spiritual. He, he's into a lot of the the the, the voodoo yeah. weirdo stuff. You know, uh, that I'm into. You know, ayahuasca and the whole bit. But that there are a lot of people in yeah, the league that are like love. that are like you know you are not the godfather of football. We we're we're going to build you a grave. And Ted's yeah. gone in here. We should go. No, no, no. I I, I do want to mention something that you said um, earlier, Mike, mm -hmm. about it being hard to talk sports and drink beer. Yes. Think about the Nonsensical Nonsense podcast. Yes. That's what they do. I know. Yes, they, do. Drink, they drink a lot of beer. Yeah. They talk all different types of sports. Yeah. I want to show it respect. That's all. I, I just, I love the game. And I want to show it respect, and I think it deserves it. And you know that people don't realize how good you have to be just to make the NFL, even on the worst team. Right. Right. Like it, it is, it is such an incredible machine now, a money making machine. 
And and if you look at the success even of the Cowboys, and I'm talking financially, I'm not talking on the field. I'm talking how much yes. money that organization makes. Ooh. It is insane. True. Yeah. You know, you, you've got a lot of good teams that are barely paying the bills. That's the truth. Oh, yes. Well, the market, yeah. Different markets, different things going on. Different owners as well. Yeah, yeah. and then you've got owners that it's a joke. You know what I mean? It, it, it's to them, you know, uh, I it's can a throw hobby. 100 million around. It is a shit. Yeah, it's a hobby. To, for some it's a hobby. Owners, Jerry, Jerry is fully invested. Yeah. Jerry yeah. Jones fully invested yeah. in one yeah. thing. It's his life. Yeah. Yes, it's his baby. Like, I mean, uh, it's not like I a mean, Nolan who has a go ahead, Brian. Like, like whatever, go ahead, Brian. Yeah, go yeah Brian. Jerry Brian. Jones like put his own money into that stadium, both stadiums. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's fully in. That's his legacy, guys. Yeah, so like if Jerry Jones dies, he'll be buried at the fifty-yard line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. That's awesome. Like Jimmy Hoffa. I'm sorry. Like, like when, yeah, when, when he dies, it could be another thirty years from now. But when he does die, he'll be buried at the fifty-yard line. Yeah. For me, because I would be a, I would be a silly mess. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> you know, no, I would be. I would be. I would have. If I was drinking, I'd have no filter. I would be saying things I shouldn't say. So Blick uh, says Rogers still has a lot in the tank. Yes, I believe. Definitely a difference maker. He said Brady played 20 plus years and still went out on top as a, a top QB and could still be playing today. I agree. <clears throat> yeah, yeah I, I, I disagree with that. Two more games. Well, well, well I, Mike, 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 let me throw this at you. Brady went to a new team and got to the Super Bowl and won. Aaron Rodgers can do the same thing with the Jets. I mean, yeah. his last year. I don't mean. I got you. Oh, it's last year. Brady, oh, Brady yeah. last year, I think, tarnished his brand a bit. Sorry. I understand nah, the last I can't. year. No, because he was 44 years old. Like, it's like, at that no, point. No, I think, I think, Smoke, I think it was overtime. more, it was more the divorce and yes. this. Yeah. Yeah, he had a lot on his mind. Yeah, his wife got him, got him behind the gun. Yeah, it, it, it's yeah. a lot mentally. He had a lot that going on. Work for him. And then he had injured receivers also. So, and, you know, he had a, you know, so it was a whole, it was a mixture. Like the team, they lost a little bit of talent also. So it is what it is. But it, I don't think it tarnishes brand because everybody knows kind of what he was doing through pers in his personal life as well, because that could be a huge distraction. But Smoke, you, know? you realize though, for every year that you play, you, you basically diminish how many years you're going to have on this planet. Like it, it takes a it. toll on your body. I get it. I get you it. You know that that's why you've got running backs that are literally barely walking. Yeah, you get seven and 10, years 15 years back. later because they've got arthritis and everything else. And then you know, if you go way back, all the guys that had pl that played with concussions. I think Tony was yeah. trying to talk about this, and and guys want to. Uh, Ted's about to fall asleep or sneeze at the same time. Okay. <laughs> God bless you. Good night. Nah. So listen. So listen. Um, it's a different league than when Steve Atwater was delivering those monster hits, or Ronnie Lott was delivering those killer. Yes. Ray Lewis. Much Ray more Lewis. reckless. Brian Dawson. Yes. How long? I think the love of the game is gone, though, for a lot of guys. I think a lot of it is about. Make the money, feed my family, yep. be in the get league in, as long out. as I can, That's get as many endorsements as I can, Given. get as many likes. If see if I can get it on the Tony D show, you know, they, you know, that there's levels. Hey Brian, I got to meet the Monty Dawson. Oh, cool. I'll tell you that story another time. I got Not to meet him. Either. Really cool person to meet, Hall of Famer. And it was like, ask me anything. You, and you course, guys agree with that, though? That the love of the game is not there like it was when they weren't making money? Of I course. don't know. It's just that we're in a different generation, period. The kids are different. It's a different I mean, world. We it's more physical, okay. I will say. But at the same time, they have, with the rule changes and all that, it has gotten soft. Um, now they want to look at like longevity of the players now. 
Mm -hmm. Well, it's so, an investment. Yeah, it's an investment. So it's an investment of hundreds of millions of dollars, right? And that's a good thing too, though. Yeah. For oh, yeah. Humanity's sake, for the athletes' health yeah. sake. Yeah. yeah. Well, so I mean, oh, but I mean, but yeah, I mean, like, you know, yeah. But then I, I mean, you know, guys get careless and things happen the way they happen. I mean, Anthony Richardson's already like missing more time now, like from two concussions and and a shoulder now. Yeah. Uh, How many games played? has he played? He's he's missed out two games. Yeah. Gardner now Gardner now he's out and Gardner Mishu is back under center again. So he's you know what with him he tried to do too much. Yeah, he I tried to do or, too or Richardson. 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 He didn't he play to... smart. No. Well, he's young. Come on, guy. He's like he should. He he's twenty one, isn't he? He's twenty one. He's yeah. played his second game that he uh, second professional. Yeah. He played, I think it was like one or two concussions. Yeah. One. And then when he played against the Texans, suffered another concussion. Yeah. Because yeah. like like uh, it was a it was a tackle, it was a tackle that happened, but his head whiplash right off the turf. Yeah. You have to learn how to fall too. Yeah. Which and Tua, get out of bounds. It's like Tua had to learn how to fall. Yeah. Man. But but you know what? We could talk about this for two days. We shouldn't. All right, we, yes, we, 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 Bell we, Kings. Kings Sunday morning. Hey, Football one thing, tone. one thing I do want to mention for, for Tone, I want to get his take on it. Okay, and, and and everyone's take on it also, but specifically Tony. There's a report allegedly that's going to come out, Tony. Your guy, John ja Morant, who's currently suspended was involved in another fight in a club with his group. Is this the end, yes or no, no. for this season? No. Half the season. I'll say after the All-Star break based on this incident right here. But he's already jammed up 25 games. They'll probably put another 25 on it. Okay, Max. It's story to drop I tomorrow. Said originally, I had said the story will drop within the next twenty-four to forty-eight hours. Yeah, and I want to see. I, I saw a headline on. I didn't read the story, but this ain't going to be good for him. I don't think it's going to be good for him. He's already he's already got an issue. He does. He's have, already suspended. He, yeah, he's already suspended for twenty-five games. So he'll probably do another. Like I said, I probably don't expect to see him before the All Star break. I don't. Because they're they're gonna cost him money more than anything. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I know they're gonna cost him money. I don't expect to see him before the All Star break on the court with the team. Okay, so you you you're thinking they just give him another twenty five, another, and not the whole season. No. Okay. No, and I, I, I'll be wrong, but the Grizzlies need him. The fans want to see him. The NBA will cost himself by costing him the whole season. Okay. The NBA will cost themselves, so give him half the season. And God knows he'll have half the season. By half the season, he'll probably lose his mind and be dying to get back on the court, especially with the teammates he got right now. He needs to be out there with Marcus Smart and Derrick Rose. Good Lord, have mercy. Okay. I he can see. He's being, I think he's being tried, Glick. He's got sense in his head. I just think he's being tried now. I think people are trying to push his buttons and get him in more trouble. He got to go sit down somewhere. He got to go sit down some damn well. This is too much. Bro, you cost yourself millions now. That's Big Mills said the best. There's levels to this. Nobody has any You're games. You're going in the wrong direction, bro. Come on, sit down. Come on, sit down. Come on, sit down. Everybody out there, all of y'all who was homeboys and everybody, y'all stop him from getting in trouble. Damn. Where's his damn daddy? <laughs> yes. Hanging out with the Kardashians, obviously. No, nah, his father. Yeah, his, that the, that's the problem. The father. Okay, stop, stop, stop. You know, stop. You know, like reel him in. 
Stop letting him, uh, you know what I mean? The father yeah. has to step in. Reel him in. I understand he's a grown man, but, you know, he still has a father figure that we see at all the games with him and everything. So, obviously, Well, Pops father, is already there. We got to talk to the crew, They man. live next door. I live, right. like I'm saying, he lives next door to his father. So, they're, they're definitely, his father's definitely in his life. His father needs to say, hey, man, you may be around the wrong guys. Somebody needs to reel him in. And that's the father's job. I'll just leave it at that. True. Yeah. That's my take. That's my take on it. Uh, Mr. Morant, go get your son. Talk to him, please. Please. Something. Take a trip to the learning tree. Because it, it, it obviously it, it appears they could find him ten million dollars or twenty million dollars. He's, he's got what a, a two hundred and fifty million dollar contract waiting for him. He had. Who knows if it's guaranteed or not? I don't know, but at this point, it doesn't matter. It's just like, still, because Memphis is very dangerous. There's a lot of gang activity in Memphis. Memphis is very dangerous. He could pretty much, you know, you don't want, God forbid, him, you know, becoming, getting injured or, you know, getting popped out there on them streets, running around with the wrong guys. Yeah, so, there's, a, there's you know, already... Memphis is definitely a bad... <clears throat> Memphis is on the way to being Chicago Junior. <laughs> Memphis has been like Chicago, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, to you. Um, been yeah there, there was already a report. A college, a college football player um, for North uh, Northwestern looked like played some Louisiana college, mm-hmm. but apparently di- dead at the age of twenty one from multiple gunshot wounds. Mm. So F A F O. Yeah. Right there, you went. Glick says Pop sneezed to take the belt to his ass old school. Yep. She didn't yeah. Work yeah. Work Pop yeah. Was trying to do his Usher impersonation and stop playing around and grab your boy. But all the crazy. all the all the mother knuckleheads out there. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Yeah. All right, let's go around the horn. Um where can we find you? Uh we'll start with smoke. Sunday Night Smoke Podcast on YouTube, live Sundays, 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Also on Instagram, Sunday Night Smoke Podcast. Like, share, subscribe. Lit. Brian, where can we find you? And you have to, in honor of the great Michael Bathurst, you got to give gratitude. Okay. Um, I I have gratitude for uh, the people I surround ours that that I surround myself with. Um, gratitude for another day of life. There you go. Gratitude that hopefully I win this weekend in all my matches. <laughs> um, and uh, you could find me on Twitch at. Uh, Texas underscore Cataskull and you can find me on Discord at Thailander713 Got it Mr. Bathurst Hello folks How Where we can we find you Yes And uh, Under the same name Michael Bathurst you can find me on Twitter Under the same name you can find me on YouTube You can find me on TikTok um, you can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Google. It's I'm everywhere. Um, I do do two types of videos. I do videos that are with my dog that are usually inspirational. Um, occasionally do videos with uh, some gentlemen, uh, Ted Hicks, I believe his name is, and Tony D. Uh, occasionally I do stuff with them. And a guy from Texas. And uh, a, a guy that's heavy into smoke and podcasts, <laughs> but um, yeah, it. I I, I honestly, barbecue. I honestly try to be positive when I can. But it's it's fun to be in these because you can be more playful. Yes. And and yes. you know it's it's a mutual respect that we have for each other. And you know we we should uh, do a shout out for Rick as well. Both Ricks and uh, a Richard. Yeah. So thank you for everything you guys do. And 
But, you know, the, there's a little nucleus of our family, which is what, maybe 30 to 40, 50 people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm grateful for that. And, um, you know, I, I believe that there's always a silver lining in everything, even though, uh, you know, the platform we were on before disbanded, we, we have found a way to, you know, continue to be um, a bright light, all of us here. And I, I really find that a sacred thing. And I, I truly mean that. Got it. Uh, I do want to give a special shout out to Fireman Rich, who's always there. Uh, great shows early in the morning. I can catch his Friday morning show tomorrow, um, usually around 5.30 a.m. Eastern time. What platforms? Fireman Rich? Yeah, Twitch, you, I know. You can catch him on Twitch. And um, YouTube? Yeah, so I catch him on live on Twitch. Yeah. And if you want to watch the archives, you can watch that on YouTube because he uploads it there. And then he takes the audio podcast side of it and spreads it like a spider web all over the place, too. Okay. Because um, I, I think I have to reactivate my Twitch. I haven't been on there in a long time. Because there, there is people on there that I want to see. And, oh, know? yeah. No, what, what? Why are you doing this? I'm telling you to get on Twitch for over a year and a half. Get your ass back on Twitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Word. yeah. So get back on Twitch. Chris, the technician. What's going on, Chris? Hi, folks Chris. Are, folk, folks are looking for you, man. Get yes. Back on Twitch. Yeah. The what way you, you say it, though, it sounds like bill collectors. But go ahead. They're not bill collectors. Okay. The gratitude collectors. <laughs> Word. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out to, um, as we said before, nonsensical nonsense. They do it special, three to four times a week. Super size podcast. <laughs> Super size. I'm like, yo. There was the other night. I turned to it. They were like, like four or five hours deep. I, I said, saw three wow. hours. I saw five hours. I'm like Jesus Christ. They were getting it in. I love it. Good gut of sponsorships, um, though. Yes. Got your sponsorships. Love the passion. Love what you guys are doing. Um, hate the beard. Hate the beard. I, I'm not even... I don't even know that. Well, I mean, it, it's almost Chewbacca status. Almost. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Almost Chewbacca status. Gotcha. Oh, and while we at it, happy belated birthday to Glick. It was just his birthday yesterday. Wow. Oh, wow. happy yes, belated. It was just his birthday yesterday. Happy birthday to Glick for real. Glick, happy birthday, man. <laughs> you know what was nice for me today is when I saw Joy. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. It was really nice to see Joy again. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Your bald headed demon. <laughs> Look like an abandoned Paris of the Caribbean. Keep it up. <laughs> Chris the technician says, hello, Michael. Hey, buddy. Um, so give us a, a quick um, highlight reel of your trip. Like, you know, I, I, I saw a, a part of the sensation. Oh, dude. Yeah. It was... And, you know, I, I, I it, it was. I, I'll hit you behind the scenes. I'll okay. hit you behind the scenes. For okay. That. Okay. Um, but I, I do want to say that, as always, grateful yeah. for you, gentlemen. Um, like you said, we were able to continue this past that platform that we used to be on, and we kind of knew. Because you once you started building those relationships and everything else like that, you were like, uh, this platform is ending, but we're still gonna be together. And I wanna let you know, like Tony's been the glue and because mm -hmm. he's been connected on several different platforms mm -hmm. where he's talking with people and everything else like that. Um I I joined 
cantina about three, four, five weeks ago for just just a random Sunday. Rejoin. And I got to tell you, the people were on there like, oh, my goodness. And, you know, hey, how are you doing? You know, what's going on? Everything else like that. Um, so grateful for that. And um, I just want to see us continue doing this normally. Good. Yeah. yeah. You know? um, what, what is Cantina? Is that what you said? Yes. can. That that's something Tony will explain to you. It's another one of those apps where formerly airtime. Thank you, Brian. It used to be airtime. Airtime changed the name to Cantina. Oh, it, it, to me, it sounds like a, an underground drug. Sorry. Oh no, it's 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 one just of those, the way you said that. The way the introduction. That's it's sorry. it's an app that you jump on, yeah. but you can't save anything. It's yeah. just like a hangout, really. You know, it's like like you would I, I don't think you would find too much benefit out of it, Mike, because you're looking for, okay, I've got this recording. Now I'm gonna splice it, now I'm gonna do this, and it's yeah. there's none of that. Yeah. But there's but that that's good too. You then you can't be accountable for all the horrible things you said. Well yes, you can. Yeah. What oh, because you well, you're right. You have all these virtual uh recorders now. Absolutely. Yeah, and they're very common. So yeah, you're right. Yeah, Tony, what are you grateful for, and where can we find you, Tony? I'm always grateful for family, friends, and opportunity. Good seeing you up here, Mike. Taking it easy, man. I'm tired. I can tell. I can tell. Twenty minutes. You've been telling me thirty minutes for two years. We made it last about (laughs) first year only. Y'all jokers. (laughs) Y'all can follow me on Linktree. My Linktree is Tony D. Dot Original. Y'all can find me on TikTok, T O N Y T O N one nine seven two three. You can find me on Twitter, T O N Y T O N one six three. Find me on Instagram, Twitch, and Rumble, T O N Y T O N seven two. Find me on YouTube, T O N Y D seventy four forty four, or the Random Multi Broadcaster. Bill King's Fantasy Football League Sunday mornings. 10 30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. I may not make it this Sunday, just so everybody knows. I may not make yeah, it. Yeah, you've been consistent on. about that. Yeah. Yeah. I got I got some things going on. So I may not be here the past couple of weeks that I have been able to make it. I've been lucky for. Mm-hmm. I might not be here this Sunday, but I'm going to try to. Uh my random bro my, my random broadcast when I do my music and my current events, I might do one tomorrow night. I might not. Like I said, I got some things going on in my end, so this just might be my week off. I was able to make it up here. I did make Sunday's broadcast. So, Ted, appreciate you, Brian. Good seeing you. Mike, good seeing you. Smoke, good seeing you. Everybody in the chat, thank all y'all for coming through straight up. Uh, keep us, keep and, us in the loop, though, e- either way, yeah. of what might be happening or not happening. And Yeah. I yeah. just got a lot going on on my end. So, next couple of weeks going to be kind of tight. But Sunday, I know I may not be here. The next Sunday, I might. But this Sunday, I probably will not. Okay. So, like I said, y'all see me around. Appreciate y'all as always, man, for real. All right. And with that, it's a wrap. Thank you.